Amid the coronavirus, there is creativity. Wearing a mask, Hong Kong artist Tika from East shows me the art he's created on his iPad. It shows a Hong Kong worker in a surgical mask fighting a demon virus like a superhero. From the beginning, Hong Kong and many other Asian governments have recommended the wearing of masks in public, whether they are showing symptoms or not. In early March, Hong Kong had only 150 cases of the virus, despite being one of the first places to report confirmed infections outside mainland China. The city has only seen a spike after people returned from Europe and the U.S. Here in Hong Kong, wearing a mask has been a fact of life since January. Now, with clean hands, I put on my mask like this, making sure that this is under my chin and the wire is bent over the bridge of my nose. And I wear this every time I go to a crowded place like a park or a supermarket. It not only brings down the, uh, you know, the cases of coronaviruses, it also brings down the influenza. In fact, this is now the influenza season and we hardly see any influenza cases. And that is because the masks actually protect not only against the coronaviruses, but also against the influenza viruses as well. To control the pandemic, Hong Kong has isolated cases, quarantined their contacts, and encouraged social distancing. But while Hong Kong continues to encourage mask use, U.S. officials largely have not. In late February, the U.S. Surgeon General tweeted, in all caps, stop buying masks. They are not effective in preventing general public from catching coronavirus, but if healthcare providers can't get them to care for sick patients, it puts them and our communities at risk. But there is growing evidence that masks are effective. According to a study of interventions used during the 2003 SARS outbreak, consistently wearing a mask in public was associated with a 70% reduction in the risk of catching SARS. A recent study in The Lancet rounded up the contrasting advice from governments on the wearing of masks. The authors endorsed it under certain circumstances. The top priority is to make sure we got enough masks for healthcare workers because they really need it and we have to make sure there's enough for them. We know that wearing a mask is better than not wearing a mask, but at the same time, of course, staying at home is the best way to avoid infection. Cowling says a mask can help protect healthy wearers from breathing in infectious particles or touching their face with contaminated hands. But the greatest protection comes from covering the mouths of silent carriers, people already infected but don't know it yet. And that's a very good justification for using masks, particularly for COVID-19, where we do know that on some occasions, people can spread infection before their symptoms appear. Through public information campaigns, people in Hong Kong are taught how to properly wear a mask, and virtually everyone does. It is a powerful symbol of solidarity as individuals protect each other to help end this pandemic. Christy Lu Stout, CNN, Hong Kong.